There are many different meta strategies for players to now use in Battles 2, and in today's video I would like to use Benjamin and a few computer science memes as an anchor for many different strategies and team compositions in Battles 2 for Season 4 and onward. What works for each player may be different, as some players may prefer to test various strategies in the game directly by playing, whereas others may prefer to build strategic maps and matrices outside of playing the game to view it from a different perspective other than directly playing the game itself. Mapping a thought matrix. So to introduce the concept of matrices into Battles 2, I'm going to use a thought matrix as an example. So a thought matrix is simply a grid or a chart with headings and columns for different ideas, tasks, or topics. These can be two-dimensional grids like XYs, they can be three-dimensional grids, and then there's also data sets like higher level arrays, but that's like a whole different section. It can be helpful to use different colors or symbols to quickly bind large amounts of strategic information into a workable package so that you can then quickly combine these colors or symbols to blend various battles to strategies together. Think of like having a symbol for the dartling gunner, having a symbol for the ninja, having a symbol for other towers, and then you can just interchange these symbols to make little symbolic sentences of team composition. And then you can plug all those into a matrix data set and see how they interact. Now, specifically thought matrices. For some players, a thought matrix may be an orderly creation of space where they can look at strategic information from a higher degree, or much like a calendar or a chart, and plan what they're doing. For others, it might be much more chaotic, a space focused on experiences more so than the trees of thought. Whichever your preference, you can also use a thought or a strategic matrix to brainstorm new ideas by filling in blank cells within your matrix data array to see new possible tower combinations and strategic options. The best way to start using a thought matrix is to identify the areas of your battles to gameplay that need the most organization or pattern development. For example, some players may need to elevate their economic play in battles too, whereas others may be seeking more team composition options for rank ladder. You can use these strategic matrices to have a quick overhead view of the strategy you're currently working on and which towers or economic options may plug in simply in order to approve that selected strategy. Either way, once you have created a few matrices, you'll find that it's much easier to recognize strategic patterns that apply to many Battles 2 gameplay mechanics. Once you begin to see the overlying patterns that apply across multiple strategies and matrices, it becomes much easier to then fill out your strategic data sets by just doing all the math in your head, opposed to either acting them out through lived experience or taking notes and, you know, written symbols in order to find these new strategies. It'll often speed up your strategic leveling up process, so to speak. You know, the faster that you can gain insight on these strategies, the faster you can build on these strategies and build new ones. So. Matrices are something that I've been studying for a while. I would really love to dive into it, though I think I might need one or two more videos of setup if this is even something that y'all are interested in. If it is, let me know and I'll keep going into it. Thanks for watching.